Opening scenes come in all different forms in an attempt to grab the viewer's attention. Is there a better way of getting someone so invested in a movie than by offering mystery, forcing them into asking questions they know they don't yet have the answers for, giving them only a hint of what's to come, leaving them begging to see what comes next? So with that in mind then, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 mysterious movie openings that left you begging for more. Number 10. Knives Out who doesn't love a good old whodunit story? Well, judging by the wild popularity of Ryan Johnson's Knives Out, no one. The Star Wars The Last Jedi director bounced back from such a disappointing stint in a galaxy far, far away with arguably his best work yet. The story is what is planned to be the first of many based around Benoit Blanc, in which Daniel Craig's southern detective is pitted against what seems like an unsolvable case. The twists and turns, fake outs and false finishes in Johnson's tale would leave even Agatha Christie shaking her head. As with all good murder mysteries, Knives Out started of course with a murder victim. Harlan Thromby lay in his mansion with his throat slit, blood everywhere to be discovered by his maid while delivering his breakfast. This was a simple opening, but it raised so many questions. Who was the victim? Who killed him? Why did they kill him? How did they kill him? What did the dogs have to do with anything? What secrets did the giant mansion hold? This was easily the simplest part of the entire story, but opened the door to one of the greatest murder mysteries told in recent cinematic memory. Number 9. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness just about every movie to come from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is met with huge anticipation and expectation. There are some that sit above most others in this regard, with the likes of Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man No Way Home being joined at the top of the list by Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. After No Way Home brought back the likes of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, all bets were off for the Doctor Strange sequel. It felt like just about anything could happen, and with fans on the edge of their seats before the movie even started, it began with one of the most explosive opening scenes in MCU history. Without introduction or build-up, fans were immediately thrown into a trippy, visually show-stopping alternate universe in which a variant of Doctor Strange was trying to protect the brand new to the franchise America Chavez from a crazy monster. If this was what the movie had right off the bat, who knew what else was in store? While it's widely regarded that the 28th movie released by Marvel Studios failed to live up to the expectations set by its title and the internet, there is no denying that this opening was incredible and set up the rest of the movie perfectly. Number 8. A Clockwork Orange there are no two ways about it, A Clockwork Orange is a damn weird film. Not surprising given that the source material is one of the most bizarre novels to ever be adapted to the screen, but such a transition was executed to perfection. Dystopian futures are nothing particularly special in cinema anymore, with countless being the basis typically for young adult stories. Whereas the likes of The Hunger Games, Divergent and Elysium give at least some explanation and exposition, A Clockwork Orange did no such thing. The opening shot of Stanley Kubrick's 1971 thriller focuses on Alex Delage. As if the costume wasn't weird enough, as the camera moves further away from the character's unblinking sinister gaze, it brings into view so many more aspects that ask so many more questions. Alex's droogs and their milk, the bizarre mannequins, other people seemingly standing guard, and Alex's voiceover fully utilising the language created for the novel by Anthony Burgess gave the movie one of the most unique opening sequences in movie history. It was strange and it was unknown, but it certainly drew audiences in for more, going on to earn itself the status of cult classic amid controversy and backlash. Number 7. 2001 A Space Odyssey the opening scene to Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey is one of the most famous and most iconic movie openings in the history of cinema. It's not often you get an opening scene that lasts an entire nine minutes and is almost completely separate from the rest of the film, but this was certainly the case here. Audiences in 1968 would have had every right to expect a movie with such a title to be about the exploration of space, and just as much right to be utterly baffled that the first nine minutes depicted a group of apes long before evolving into humans. In the presence of an alien monolith, mysterious and ominous in its own right, the creatures set about learning how to use tools and ultimately utilising bones as weapons to become dominant over others. It almost acts as its own story within the movie, until one ape throws the bone he used as a club into the air for it to transition into a ship floating through space. There was absolutely no way of connecting the two narratives. Even after the transition, audiences were no clearer as to what the hell was going on, but something as weird as that monolith and a seemingly completely random story about apes millions of years ago inspired a huge amount of intrigue. Number 6. The Thing 
John Carpenter's 1982 masterpiece The Thing is nothing short of iconic cinema. The Kurt Russell-led movie walks the line between thrilling and genuinely terrifying, both psychologically and visually, leaving audiences completely in the dark over who to trust from start to finish. This was the beauty of the movie, in that uncertainty reigned throughout, even before the titular extraterrestrial being was ever properly introduced. While the mystery of who was real and who wasn't made up the majority of the narrative, to begin with it was simply a question of what what the hell was going on? In the Arctic, a cute husky dog was galloping through snow almost as deep as it was itself tall, desperately trying to get away from the helicopter seemingly doing everything it could to bring the poor mutt down. What possible explanation could there have been for such treatment of this dog? The fact that the scene was preceded only by the vision of an alien spacecraft heading to Earth upped the ante. There must have been a connection between the two scenes, but could anyone have guessed that it was the dog that was the shape-shifting alien until the horrific scene where it transformed in front of the others? Number 5. Us Jordan Peele's second movie was arguably one of the most anticipated horrors in recent memory, simply thanks to how well Get Out was received. In 2017, the director, typically known for his comedic work, announced himself on the horror stage, with some already going so far as to say he was one of the best to ever do so. With his next movie coming out just two years later, audiences wanted to see if Peele would build on his still tiny repertoire, with another release as captivating and as culturally iconic as his first. Part of what made Get Out great was the fact that nothing had been done by accident. Every single detail, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, was there for a very specific, very important reason. This would surely be the same in Us, and the opening scene had audiences trying to figure out exactly what certain meanings were there from the very beginning. After a quick bit of information about the system of tunnels running underneath America, there was a shot that focused on one single rabbit, while pulling back to reveal an entire wall full of the little creatures. There was no explanation and no exposition, yet all audiences knew they would have a role to play. Exactly what certainly wasn't revealed straight away, but it drew those watching in immediately. Number 4. The Prestige one of the most popular methods of opening a movie is the use of a voiceover. There is usually a lot of information the audience will need in order to pick up on the initial events. However, with The Prestige, Christopher Nolan utilised Michael Caine's voice in a different way. His words weren't particularly expositional with regards to the story or the characters. All he did was explain on a wide scale the makeup of a magic trick. Let's be honest, Michael Caine has a voice with such gravitas that once you hear it, you could listen to it all day. Aside from the alluring tones of the Englishman, the audience was drawn in by the trick on display parallel to the narration. Hugh Jackman's character seemingly planned to make himself disappear, but instead fell through the stage into a water tank that locked, leaving him for dead. While Christian Bale was initially a part of the show, he found himself face to face with Jackman, seemingly staring and watching the man drown. Clearly, there was more to this story than just a magic trick, and the opening was so compelling that you couldn't help but be desperate for answers right from the get-go. Number 3. Fight Club there's something about movies that don't start at the chronological beginning of the narrative. It's a great way to throw audiences into the deep end in terms of having absolutely no idea what's going on. This was the case with Fight Club. When any movie starts with the image of a gun being forced into the mouth of a tied up target, alarm bells go off immediately. You want to know exactly what happened that this was the end result, because the story is surely a good one. Edward Norton's monologue over the top of Brad Pitt's gun in his mouth is a strange combination of very specific and incredibly vague. It explains to the viewer exactly what is going on in terms of Project Mayhem's plan to blow up several city blocks and how they plan on doing it, but doesn't reveal who either character is, what Project Mayhem is, or why this theatre of mass destruction is happening in the first place. The scene cuts to Norton being embraced by Meatloaf leaving audiences with major questions already, one of the most pressing being who the hell are Tyler Durden and Marla Singer? Number 2. Memento Ever since its release over 20 years ago, Christopher Nolan's Memento has become widely regarded as one of the most confusing movies in history. With two parallel narratives, one that moves chronologically and one that moves backwards, it ultimately makes sense with an incredibly satisfying ending. But until that moment, there are question marks everywhere. That's essentially the point of the entire movie. Leonard suffers from short-term memory loss and cannot form new memories, with Christopher Nolan doing an exquisite job of forcing the audience into the same confused perspective as 
as his protagonist. Take for example the very first shot of the movie. The Polaroid of the blood spattered wall raised the same kind of questions any unexpected crime scene would, but then things only get more confusing as the scene continues as the actions of the movie are revealed to be moving in reverse. Several times the hand holding the picture shakes it, only for it to get less and less clear. The character ultimately puts the blank picture back in the camera before shooting the unidentified man in the back of the head. This was always going to take a hell of a lot of explaining. Number 1. Inception in 2010, Inception took the entire world by storm. The Unreal Ensemble cast, with Christopher Nolan at the helm, became one of the most talked about movies of the year, with the debate still raging even now as to what it actually all means. As is typical of a Christopher Nolan film, nothing was particularly straightforward, and there was a lot left up for interpretation by the time the credits rolled. From the very start of the movie, confusion reigned, but that was the whole point. Watching the opening scenes of Inception, it felt like audiences were given a load of puzzle pieces without any way of connecting them. From Leonardo DiCaprio washing up on a beach, to the children playing, the totem, and the fact that DiCaprio's character seemed to be having conversation with the same man decades apart without having aged a day. Then the shot moved to the next layer of dreaming, in which DiCaprio and Gordon Levitt slept on a train and audiences were simply plunged further into the realms of confusion and ambiguity. Now, most of the movies on this list eventually made sense, but even now, 12 years later, some viewers are just as in the dark as when they they first watched this scene. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.